Hello and welcome to The Hero's Word. I'm Andre and today I'm super excited to bring you an unboxing of Sideshow Collectibles concept series featuring the art of Ralph McQuarrie who is instrumental in bringing the original Star Wars trilogy to life. Ralph McQuarrie is the visionary. He brought Lucas's concepts anything out of his imagination, put it on paper, and he created the iconic looks that we know and love from the original trilogy. This guy is, is just a genius. If you've never had a chance to check out his concept art, give it a look. You can probably Google it. Better yet, head to a bookstore and pick up a book featuring his art. Just absolutely fantastic. He, he really nailed what Star Wars is, and continually we see his style throughout everything that is Star Wars. From the prequels, even to the new trilogy, The Force Awakens, we are seeing examples of his artwork that, that really, you know, Lucas inspired him to be great and his stuff is just fantastic. So, Sideshow Collectibles is doing a series of statues. This is the first one featuring the pre-concept stuff. So this is like his original drawings, the original concepts, and this piece is the Stormtrooper, which we have in front of us today. And as you can see, again, Sideshow bringing you great Star Wars packaging. It's black, it's classic, it's got the Star Wars logo, and we have an image on the front of our Stormtrooper. And you can tell the Stormtrooper looks a little different. You're like, hey, this guy's got a lightsaber and a shield. So again, this is pre-concept stuff. This is the opening imaginations of what Lucas had envisioned for the Stormtroopers. Side of the box, nothing fancy, says concept series. And then the back of the box give us a little bit of blurb about what Macquarie is, how he's important, and what this series of statues is going to do. So on the back image we have the Stormtrooper with the lightsaber, and I think I said he had the lightsaber in the front image. That is just his pistol right there. So with further, without further ado, let's crack this uh, statue open and see what is in store for us. And as you know, I'm a big Star Wars nut. I'm Star Wars to the core, probably tell from the t-shirt. But yeah, I love all things Star Wars. The original trilogy, just fantastic. Really loving Star Wars Rebels. So I know without a doubt no matter what this piece looks like it is going to be part of my star wars statue collection now as i always say you should do this with two people i'm going solo tonight not gonna have a hand but i'm gonna do my best to get this puppy out of the box without damaging it turn it upside down if you don't have to do it like this at home folks don't do it don't really recommend it but I'm a professional, I think I can handle it. Okay, so here we have the statue out of the box in its nice, durable, sideshow styrofoam. It's all taped up and sealed. Again, when you're cutting, don't cut deep, don't cut fast. Very careful, just in case it catches something you hopefully don't want to nick an accessory or the base. All right, I'm gonna take a guess to see which end is the top. All right, so looks like I took the top off first, but that shouldn't uh, detract from this. As always with these statues, you probably want to do the base first. If not, you're not going to have any place to stand your statue. 
to be very careful when you're taking off the paper. You never know if it's going to catch on something. Sometimes it has antennas or something that might be a little spindly. There we go. Also, it is going to be numbered on the bottom. So this one says concept series. This one is number 214 out of 1500. So not a high print run on this particular statue series. All right, next up, I am going to go for the trooper himself. Very nice paint job. You wouldn't imagine how difficult it is to paint white with depth. And this one has it in spades. All right. Always be careful and try and line the peg up with the hole. Can be a little tricky at times, but statue should just slide in, okay? You shouldn't be forcing anything. If you are forcing, that could mean you might not have lined it up, and it could also mean that the hole for the peg might be a little bit too short or small, so be very careful with that. Same goes with the head. It's going to fit one way, so make sure you line it up. There we go. It's not magnetized, but it only goes in one way. If, it, if, it, if you're forcing it, it's the wrong way, folks. All right, so let's get him with that lightsaber because I think that's what really makes this guy unique compared to all the other stormtroopers that we know. Okay, so looking for the shield, I forgot one of the cardinal things that Sideshow does, and that's usually on the top of the box. It has the Sideshow logo, so that was my bad rookie mistake. The shield is going to be in here, so I'm going to get my knife. the nice silicate packages all right and we should see if this can fit right in here yep so there we go this is the concept art stormtrooper with his lightsaber and his shield. Now it's very interesting too that the lightsaber is blue. I guess that was gonna be the uniform color of them in the de original designs. So it's not a red lightsaber that you would uh, think for like a Sith or a dark Jedi. But yeah, this statue is very nice. The detail is simple, but the aesthetic is very, very powerful. It's got all the cut lines that you would notice on a Stormtrooper, but they are in different places. And it's just fabulous. The base adds to the simplicity of the design. Very, very cool statue. Again, like I said, white is usually a hard color to pull off when you're shading and stuff, but they've got some nice blues and grays shading this piece. Really, really like it. I am going to substitute the arm. Let's see how the pistol looks. There we go. So you can see it's magnetized and it pulls it in quite nicely. So yeah, doesn't look quite as menacing as a regular Stormtrooper does with that big kind of semi-machine, sub-machine sub gun or uh, that it has. But uh, yeah, this is a great looking piece. Let's get a look at the back there. I don't think I showed you that. But yeah, very, very cool. Really, really like this. Now, this is the first in the statue series, like I mentioned before. The next up is going to be Darth Vader 
followed by Boba Fett. So we're going to get all of the bad guys, all the guys in the really cool armor. And while they are going to be close to what the characters ended up looking like, they are going to definitely be a little bit different and have that just that slight difference that, you know, you still know that it is a stormtrooper or it's recognizable. So Vader's going to be recognizable and Fett's going to be recognizable, but it is definitely going to have that Ralph McQuarrie uh, just difference in style. And it's just a very, very cool, like, yeah, just smooth and sleek. That's that's the uh, the feeling I'm getting off this. And just that nice little touch on that shoulder right there, the red and the black on both sides. You know, the black visor, which is classic Stormtrooper. Yeah, this is just a really, really nice piece. If you're a Star Wars fan, you know how important Ralph McQuarrie is. Uh, this piece is, you know, 3D, it's come to life, and it does look fantastic. So if you love Star Wars like I love Star Wars, you gotta check out uh, Sideshow stuff. This Ralph McQuarrie piece is excellent. Highly, highly recommend it. Again, it might not be for every Star Wars fan if you don't know the kind of the background to it, but for myself, being that, that super Star Wars nerd, I, I love this piece, and I can't wait to see more. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this uh, unboxing. Hopefully you check out some of our other videos for all things comic related, all things sci-fi, all things pop culture. Check out the hero's word. Thanks for watching. Please like our videos. And if you continue to enjoy our content, hit that subscribe button. Also, here are a couple of videos that we're recommending that you watch.